Year three of the Brian Kelly era awaits. These are three bold predictions for the LSU Tigers in the 2024 college football season. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop new video content, which is each and every single day. Also, guys, check out the podcast, which drops daily on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also check us out on social media, X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you get your content. And of course, guys, check out our website, secunfiltered.com for all the latest from us. The following is brought to you by our friends, guys. Over at my bookie, March Madness is just around the corner. Hey, we also got the SEC tournament. Yours truly going to be dropping daily picks, putting some coin on the games. You want to make sure you're set up for success. Our friends at my bookie will get you squared away. Guys, you've heard the name just about everywhere. My bookie, they're the industry's leading online sports book and casino. And it's not hard to understand why, with thousands of lines to bet on all your favorite sports. NFL, NBA, college ball, March Madness, of course, guys. Check, check, and check. MMA, soccer, they've got all the latest odds, period. Take advantage of MyBookie's prop builder and live in-game betting where every single run, throw, and touchdown is in the chance for you to put cash in your pocket. Visit their mobile-friendly website today, guys, at MyBookie.ag. And get your deposit matched halfway up to $1,000 just by using the promo code SECU when you make your first deposit. So, again, that's mybookie.ag, promo code SECU. Deposit matched halfway up to 1000 bucks. Guys, the best part is this. They make it simple with a variety of ways to deposit instantly, including credit card, bank transfer, Bitcoin, and more. So, whether you're at home or on the go, on your laptop or on your phone, it's not too late to make your New Year's resolution a resolution to get paid. Bet, win, and get paid at my bookie. Three bold predictions for the LSU Tigers heading into year three of the Brian Kelly era in Baton Rouge. And as you would expect, expectations are high as... You could argue a new era of LSU football has begun from the standpoint of there's no Nick Saban to deal with. We talk about teams that that opens the door for to sort of elevate their status in the SEC. I think you could most certainly argue that the Bayou Bengals are amongst the top candidates to do just that and take advantage of the door that is now cracked in the Southeastern Conference. So with year three upcoming for Brian Kelly, again, these are three bold predictions. And guys, when I say bold predictions, I mean bold predictions, emphasis on the bold. These are things that could happen. They're not necessarily predictions. I am locking in for the season. We're going out on a limb here on some of these, but let's go ahead, get into it. My first bold prediction for the Bayou Bengals is this. We all watched that LSU defense last year. Defensive front was a major eyesore. My first bold prediction is that Dominic McKinley will become a household name early on the defensive front for Blake Baker's defense. And guys, I think this will happen based off of his talent, off of his skill set, but also I think this is going to happen based off of necessity. And what LSU needs are the guys they need to emerge and step up. Dominic McKinley, an early enrollee, taking part in spring ball down in Baton Rouge. You look at the measurables, guys. Six foot five and a half, 280 pounds. A defensive lineman prospect out of Lafayette, Louisiana. This was a huge signing. One of the biggest of the 2024 cycle. LSU holding off Texas A&M and a host of others to lock him down was the number one rated player in the state of Louisiana. The fifth rated player, excuse me, at the defensive line position in the 2024 signing class and the 18th ranked player nationally in the 2024 signing class. When you think about the problems that LSU had last year, when you think about what they have to replace up front, 
I think a guy like Don, Dominic McKinley, I think they're going to be asking a lot of him early. I think he's going to slide right into that role. And you watch this kid's film, guys. I think he's going to be ready from the word go. It's going to be interesting to see in first-year defensive coordinator Blake Baker's first season just what they're able to do. But the area of emphasis has got to be, even with the issues last year in the secondary, even with the issues in the passing defense, stopping the run, being better at the point of attack, you think of how talented they were last year with guys like Makai Wingo and others, how talented they were. And it just did not make sense. The numbers that this LSU defense put up, historically bad numbers. This is why you bring a guy like Dominic McKinley on campus. I think McKinley, again, guys, out of necessity and out of simply put how talented he is, I think we're going to feel his impact early. I would not be surprised at all to see this kid be a freshman All-SEC or maybe even a freshman All-American type of player for LSU in his first year on campus. My second bold prediction for the Bayou Bengals is this. Someone not named Garrett Nussmeyer will start a game at quarterback this season. Now, notice I didn't specify the reason why. But I think there's going to be at minimum one game that someone not named Garrett Nussmeyer will get the start under center. And I know Garrett Nussmeyer looked great in that bowl game. He was fantastic, truly. But guys, we've watched Garrett Nussmeyer's career over the last couple of years, haven't we? And I feel like the word to best describe him is inconsistency. It's inconsistency. I mean, guys, these same LSU folks who are telling me that Garrett Nussmeyer is the second coming, they were some of those that, when he would get his limited action, were ready to bench him at that point because of things, because of shortcomings, because of errors in his game, flaws in his game, if you will. And I think the expectations for that position are going to be so high following in the footsteps of Jaden Daniels that I will not be surprised if LSU try some different things under center. And when we talk about quarterback battles too, guys, what's fascinating on a bit of a side note, there aren't many quarterback battles in the SEC taking place. I feel like we have less quarterback battles now, true quarterback battles now, than we've had in years past. We have less quarterback battles because guys are going to the portal. They're getting their signal callers. Like We're not leaving a whole lot of this thing to chance when it comes to QB1. But you look at the LSU situation. Garrett Nussmeyer, I expect to be QB1. Is there a quarterback battle? Maybe somewhat. Maybe somewhat. But I think Garrett Nussmeyer, it's felt and it's understood. He is the guy. But very interesting. You bring in A.J. Swan from Vanderbilt. And guys, I think at minimum, A.J. Swan is a capable backup. A.J. Swan is a guy, I mean, when you put up numbers at Vandy, you're a pretty solid player. You talk about experience, guys. He's got twice as many total snaps as Garrett Nussmeyer does. Had twice as many in 2023 alone. Then you look at the rest of the LSU quarterback room. They've got some youngsters they're high on. Ricky Collins, he was a four-star signee in the Tigers' 2023 class. And then you look at Colin Hurley. The signing in the 2024 class or the four-star guy. So, I think Gibbert Nussmeyer right now, I think it's safe to say QB1. I would expect him to be QB1 once the season starts. But with the expectations and the pressures down in Baton Rouge, you can't afford to go into a slump. And maybe Gibbert Nussmeyer won't. Maybe Gibbert Nussmeyer, you know, will be an all-SEC guy and plays well start to finish. But I will not be surprised at all to see someone other than Gabbert Nussmeyer trot out there, take the field, and at least get an opportunity to see what he can do under center. Guys, my third and final bold prediction for the LSU Tigers in the 2024 season is this. Again, the defense last year was so historically 
bad. It was terrible. It was abysmal. A lot of the conversation the last couple of weeks has been Harold Perkins. Right? We've heard conversations. What position is he going to play? Where is he going to play? How is he going to be utilized? Blake Baker comes over from Missouri, was one of the top DCs in the game, and he's being paid as such, right? You don't go out there and throw out that kind of money unless you're going to go out there and get the dude. I think Blake Baker was a fantastic hire. At minimum, fundamentally, LSU is going to be better this year. Now, do they still have deficiencies up front? Do they still have some deficiencies in the back end? Maybe so. Probably so. My third and final bowl prediction? LSU's defense finishes top 50 nationally under new defensive coordinator Blake Baker. What we saw last year was just weird, guys. It was strange. Didn't make a lot of sense. It really didn't. Did not make a lot of sense. LSU and bad defense is like oil and water. You know what I mean? It just, it just. It goes against everything you know as a college football fan, as an SEC football fan. I think Blake Baker, what he did with that Missouri defense, guys, was incredible. It was fantastic. It was huge to snag him away from Como. I think he's going to do wonders in his first year. I think LSU has far more talent than what we saw last year. I think Harold Perkins is going to get back to his all-American caliber self that we saw two years ago. And I'm not saying LSU is going to be perfect by any means. But after what we saw last year, being top 50 nationally is probably a bit of a bold take. But that's what we're here for. And I do think you're going to see that LSU defense make major strides in a year where last year, you go 9-3, and three, this team was bailed out by Jaden Daniels and his Heisman Trophy season. I don't think you're going to have that luxury this year. There's a lot of replacement. There's a you know a big time replacement on the offensive side at quarterback. There's a lot you are replacing when it comes to production. The defense is going to have to hold up there into the bargain. I think they'll do so. I think the impact of Blake Baker is going to be evident from day one. And the Bayou Bengals finish top 50 nationally in total defense. So, guys, my three bold predictions for the LSU Tigers in year three of Brian Kelly. Number one, Dominic McKinley becomes a household name early on on the defensive front. Number two, someone not named Gabbert Nussmeyer will start a game at quarterback this season. And number three, the defense finishes top 50 nationally under new defensive coordinator Blake Baker. What are your bold predictions of the Bayou Bengals in the 2024 season, guys? Let us know in the comments below what you think will take place this year in Baton Rouge. Guys, it's going to do it all for me. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop new video content, which is each and every single day. Also, guys, check out the podcast which drops daily on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. And of course, guys, follow along on social media, X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you get content. And our website as well, secunfiltered.com for all the latest from us. As always, guys, I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. We'll catch you on the other side. 